everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we have another Elves box from Sophie and Toffee. This one is the July box. So let's take a look at what's inside. Succulents, the July Elves box. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. So let's take a look. Regular box items and premium box add-ons. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that we get. The first item is the Crystal Art Gel. We get three colors in yellow, white, and green. We got some air dry stone clay. This one looks like it's a light gray color. We get two molds. These are 3D molds, so they're two pieces. You put your resin in between and then you kind of smush them. And because they're clear, we can use this with UV resin. And here is the next one. We also get a box of plants and flowers. So I believe these are real dried flowers. That's super cool. Look, tiny little pine cones. Oh my gosh. We get a little bag of pebbles and five little toothpicks. So if you subscribe to the premium box, here are the premium items. We get three UV resin in gray, orange, and forest green. We get some little miniatures. So here's a log, a little house, and a seashell. Okay, we get a bag of big pebbles, some blue sand, and one hanging terrarium. So there's a little hanger here. This is plastic and there's a little hole. All right, so let's give this a try. The instruction says if we're not using clay and when using UV resin, we should only use the top lid to make the succulents. So here I'm using the regular UV resin to fill in the space. And as you can see, the UV resin is a little bit runny. So we need to work really fast. So here we're going to cure each flower before working on the next one. For some of these, we're going to go over it twice. Alright, so this was done using the standard UV resin and let's just take a look. Okay. They're very thin and I think we need to trim some of these with some scissors. Oh, this one didn't come out at all. Such tiny pieces, they broke. So this time, I'm going to use the Crystal Art Gel. I think because it's a gel, it might be thicker and hopefully it'll work a little bit better. Oh, this is so much better. So if you're going to be making these succulents, make sure to get the gel. So otherwise, the UV resin will kind of just flow down and, and flow off the little mold. So I'm just going to lay down the initial layer and then using a toothpick or my little silicone um, stick here, we're going to spread it out. So this is so much better, so much easier to use. And you see the gel doesn't really flow away, so this is really nice. Another trick is to dab little bits of gel onto the mold. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, these turned out really nice. For this one, we're going to mix the colors. This one. Oh, I like the mix of colors. There we go. Now we're going to connect all the pieces together, from large to small, using small drops of UV resin.
right, so here are the three that we made. So with these molds, definitely use the crystal art gel. Because the regular UV resin is just a little bit too runny. And so this one is thicker and you have a lot more time to work on the mold before the resin Go ahead and make a few more. Now we're going to start filling in the terrarium. We're going to use the clay as a base. At the back here, we're going to add some clear UV resin. Then we're going to add some of these pink feathery plants and a few of the larger flowers. Once that's done, we're going to cure it under the UV light. Taking the other half of the terrarium, we're going to add a little bit of clay and then we'll close the two halves together. Taking more of the clay, I'm going to make little rocks by shaping the clay into squares. On the floor, we're going to add a little bit of UV resin. Then we're going to add a bit of green moss and on top of that, a few more clay rocks. In the middle here, we're going to add a few real rocks and cure everything under the UV light. Now we'll add the succulents. We're going to add a little tiny house and we're going to cure it again. And for some extra color, we're going to add some small dried flowers. Alright everyone, and here it is! Oh my goodness, this turned out way better than I thought it would. I've actually never made something like this before, so this is my first time, but I am in love. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun to make! And it turned out so nice. And I'm really glad that we can make the little succulents out of the UV resin because sometimes buying these little plants can be very expensive. However, now with the molds, you can make as many as you want and in any color that you want. Alright everyone, so I am really happy with this set. This is going to be a lot of fun. I just have to go and get more of these balls. So what do you think of this set? Do you like it? Do you like my terrarium? If you do, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!